where did you make a decision to get in real estate? What, what was it? Was it one day you woke up and you, I got to do a new business? How did that look like? Well, um, as I said, I was a waiter in a restaurant and this lady one day and who always came to the restaurant and approached me. She goes, uh, her name is Michelle Metzak. She used to have a uh, little real estate office in Medford, New Jersey. So she said, why don't you become a realtor? And I said, well, when you prove me, you know, buying and uh, renting is better than, or rent, buying is better than renting, then I will take your advice. And she came one day with a bunch of paperwork and she s showed me how important it is to own a house. Mm and what the benefits are. I said, okay, you, you, you know, you sold on me, so this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start the school. So she was actually instructor in a school in Cherry oh. Hill as well. So I went to her course, got my license, and worked under her flagship in her company. So that's how I started. So you were, you were working in the restaurant business and one of the clientele saw something in you. And you had a conversation and it wasn't necessarily something that you wanted to do, but you gave her the opportunity to sell you in a way. Right. And she did, she showed you the benefits. So then you, she taught real estate and then you went and learned. And her office was in Cherry Hill? In Medford actually. Oh, in Medford. So what were the first six months like for you in real estate personally? Because a lot of people aren't, you know, they struggle with that first six months or there's something that, you know. Well, I started as part-time. I was still okay. working in the restaurant. so. I had, come, you know, supporting myself through the restaurant as well. But the problem is, in those years, in the 90s, you know, mid-90s, we, I don't remember any real estate company really training agents and getting them started. It wasn't a thing. It wasn't. I mean, you become a realtor, you go out there, you do open houses, and you start to sell. But there was nothing really published as to the process of processing, how to become a realtor, how to sell, how to buy, and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. So, but even in those years, you know, being a foreigner, you know, I had to pass two hurdles, one being a foreigner, and I'm trying to sell something to Americans in this country, it was hard. In the mid 90s, it's a lot, of, it's a crazy time. Exactly, so, but, being in the restaurant, I had a lot of people know me in that area. So um, it wasn't really that hard. As long as people know you, they will use your services.